Good day everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about Tenor Share for DDIG Windows Data Recovery Software. Now this is all-in-one solution to perform data recovery for all scenarios. You can recover data from uh, deleted files, formatted drive recovery, lost partition, external device, crashed computer, or raw file recovery. You can recover various data types from this powerful Windows Data Recovery tool. No matter what you have lost, 4DDIG is capable of restoring lost files such as images, videos, music file, emails, office document, and compressing files without hassle. If you want to know more about uh, the different types it is supported, you can go ahead and check the link in my video description. Okay, 4DDIG gives you a best data recovery experience. In order to save time and get your data back with 100% assurance, 4DDIG Windows Data Recovery provides two recovery modes, which is Quick Scan and Deep Scan. And you can perform data recovery after free preview. It also provides you a flexible resume recovery and easy file recovery. 4DDIG Windows Data Recovery supports various storage device, um, computer or laptop, SD memory card or TF card, USB flash drive or memory stick, CD, DVD, HD, DVD, and it also supports HDDD, SSD, digital camera, music player, and so on. 4DDIG Windows Data Recovery can be installed on Windows 7 or the higher version, and it can be also installed on a Mac operating system. It also supports NTFS, XFAT, FAT16, and FAT32. Now let's go ahead and try to download and install 4DDIG Windows Data Recovery software and try to use a different option. In order to download and install, uh, what you will have to do is you will have to click on free download. As soon as you click on free download, the download should start. And once the download is completed, you may go ahead and click on open file. In case if you get a user access prompt, you may click on yes or continue. This should take you to the installation page. In order to access the installation settings or the advanced installation settings, you may click on install settings. You will have to go ahead and accept the end user license agreement. Under install settings, you will uh, get an option to select various languages which are available. And you can also change the installation path. Now for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to keep the installation path as is. That is my uh, C drive program files and tenor share. And then I'm going to click on install. Now the installation shouldn't take a longer time. That depends on the speed of your computer. Uh, ideally, it should take about a minute or two. And now once the installation is complete, it will take you back to the uh, initial screen. All you have to do is you will have to click on start. That should launch the Tenor Share for DDIG tool. As soon as the installation is complete, it will take you to the uh, Tenor Share for DDIG initial setup. So you, where you can go ahead and select a location to start the recovery from. So here you can choose uh, different uh, devices in case if you have an external device where you want to restore the data from it will be displayed right here so all you have to do is you will have to connect the external device and click on the refresh it will uh, display the external device right here so in my case i'm going to keep my devices uh, as simple that is initial um, it's my local machine so i'm going to select c drive so the for, for the demonstration purpose what i'm going to do is i'm going to try deleting these uh, files from my desktop so I'm going to select delete and I'm going to go to the uh, recycle bin and delete the files from the rec um, from the recycle bin so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try restoring the files so I'm going to select the common location desktop and I'm going to click on start so as soon as you click uh, as soon as you click on start what would happen is it will try scanning the files from your computer and um, these were the files which uh, were deleted from my desktop so as soon as the scan is completed what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to recover the data so these were the files so I'm scan and I'm going to select the files which I want to restore which were uh, deleted from the computer so the presentation the PNG radio banner PNG uh, this is the logo and I'm also going to select 
uh, the video which I had deleted. So there are four different files. I'm going to click on recover. Now, as soon as you click on re recover, it will ask prompt you to select the destination path where you want to save all your recover uh, data files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the users, the location, users, my username, and I'm going to select documents and I'm going to select recovery. So I'm going to click on recover. Now it says that a recovery is completed. There is about uh, 17 megs of data. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, check the data of where I have uh, restored the data. So I'm going to see user OneDrive. So these are the files which has been recovered uh, from my uh, desktop. So I'm going to try to open this file. And if you open this file, all the files which I have deleted has been restored. So this is how you can go ahead and restore or recover the data for using the Tenorshare for DDIG software. Now, you can go ahead and check the website. I'm going to put the link in the video description. Uh, in case if you are interested, after uh, you can go ahead and download the trial. And you have various pricing here. You have one month license. You have a one year license or else you can download or purchase a lifetime license for $59.95. The actual price is $119.95. Uh, um, with the discount you would get for about $59.95. So I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.